I know for a fact there's people watching this video who watch my videos and want to learn how to BMX ride. You can do that. It's all about commitment. It's all about how much you want to get involved, how much you want to learn. And BMX is for anyone. Yes then YouTube, what's good? So today we're bringing some new quality content to the channel. So this is for the new BMX riders, right? Today we're gonna to be running through five BMX tricks that you should be learning as a beginner BMX rider. I just wanna give you a bit of background on myself. I've rode BMX for 11 years now and I'm the most sketchiest BMX rider out there. I'm gonna show you guys the simple tricks you need to learn. So I had to do this all on my own and that's the whole point of me making this video. Let's get straight into the video, let's go. Right, we're going to jump on the bike in a second, but first of all, I wanted to talk with you guys. We're not going to jump straight into the bunny hop. A lot of these channels on YouTube, they jump straight into the bunny hop. We're not going to do that. I want to jump into the manual because, again, I made mistakes as a beginner rider and I left a manual well late to learn. But I think a manual's key to learn in BMX because you'll use manuals to put lines together and it's good to straight off the bat, put manuals straight in the mix. You can manual on the way to your mum's house, your dad's house. You can manual on the way to linking your mates. That's just something you can practice every single day, even if you're not hitting the skate park. So I'm going to jump straight into the manual. Now I'm going to show you guys some examples. Let's get straight into that one. Let's go. What I want to explain to you guys, you got to pull that bike up on the initial manual. You've got to sort of bend your knees and you control the manual with your knees. Once you've got that uplift, it's all about learning how you need to bend your knees, how you need to tuck down lower to the seat. It's all just an experimental thing. It's time. You don't need a skate park to learn manual. You can do a manual just when you're with your mates chilling. That's the main thing with manuals. They're one that you just want to input into your daily life. I wish I had them in my trick book years ago. I learned those manuals before manuals. I know it's weird, backwards. I'm making these videos so you guys don't have to make the same mistakes. Yeah, practice your manuals, get comfortable. It's all about getting that front end up. We're going in order here. Now, it's only right that we get straight into a bunny hop because the bunny hop is key to being BMX, the foundation and how you're going to grow as a BMX rider. So it's very important. Going to get straight on with that now. I'm going to show you guys how to get that back end up. And it's a lot to do with the knees. It's almost pulling the bike up, but we'll get straight into that one now. Let's go. Again, you've got that initial manual, so you know how you're pulling up. Now it's all about getting that manual and lifting them knees. It's almost the manual and then you sort of pull that back end up. You sort of use your feet on the pedals as well as your knees to pull that back end up. The bunny hop, once you master the bunny hop, once you understand it, is relatively easy. A lot of people get stuck in the bunny hop with doing a, a double wheel bunny hop. Again, I made that mistake. I had to learn myself. I had to understand that I shouldn't have been doing a double wheel hop. That's not how a bunny hop needs to work. You need to lift that front end up, like I explained on the manual, and then you need to tuck your knees up as well as sort of using your pedals with your feet. Sounds like a lot, it's not a lot. You need to get invested. You need to try a whole bunch of stuff and you'll get it. Everyone starts somewhere. And I know for a fact there's people watching this video who watch my videos and want to learn how to BMX ride. You can do that. It's all about commitment. It's all about how much you want to get involved, how much you want to learn. If you want to make a bunny hop easier for yourself, you can use these flat banks. Any flat bank will do. You could use a flat bank in the streets. Anything will work. As long as it gives you a bit more air time, you'll be able to understand more about the bunny hop because you have more time to think. So we're going to do a couple more bunny hops for you guys so you can understand how that works. To give you guys another example, we're going to bunny hop the hit. I'm going to show you guys what that's about. Right guys, now we have a rough understanding of the manual and the bunny hop. So now we're going to go straight into the 180. What comes with the 180 is the fakie. I wasn't going to do the fakie as its own trick. It's something that just comes naturally after a 180. We've got the manual and we've got the bunny hop. These are the five BMX tricks you should be learning as a beginner. These are the start. So I think it's only right that we do the 180 now. I'm going to show you guys some examples. Like I explained with the manual, so you're pulling up with a manual. Like I explained with the bunny hop, you're using your knees, you're using your feet. Don't get in to the habit of double wheel hopping. Just don't do it from the beginning. Front wheel up, back wheel up. I'm literally simplizing it as much as I possibly can as a rider. I put my everything into it. So I know you guys are gonna go and put your everything into it. And as soon as you land any one of these tricks, get in the comments, let me know how you got on, whether this video helped you, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. Let's do another 180, let's go. I just want to talk through this, right? Don't be all annoyed or don't be stressed that your 180s don't look like that. That takes years of gaining control on a bike. That control on the bike doesn't come straight away. It's not something that comes straight away for any BMX rider. So it's all about just gaining the control, understanding how the trick works, and mostly time. Just have a good time in the process is what it's all about. And I want to run through this. The flat bank is your most powerful tool. The flat bank, the quarter pipe, any of them is a powerful tool for you to get off the ground to learn quicker. It'll give you the extra air time to understand the trick. I'll tell you what, we'll show you the quarter pipe, we'll show you the bock, 
These are the fundamentals. I can't say enough time foundations of your BMX ride. And if you want to be a good BMX rider, you need to really focus and get these right. And then it will make your time in BMX so much easier. Let's go. Another key thing about 180s is if you can 180 box, if you can 180 flat bank or 180 on the floor, it'll make everything easier. Your tower pairs, your bar spinners, 360s on quarter pipes. But I've said it enough times, I believe that anyone out there can ride a BMX. It's all determination, effort, and how passionate you are about it. On to the next trick. We're going to be doing X rides for our next trick. Now I really want to get you comfortable with the bars because bar spins are going to come. A trick that's predominantly in BMX. I bar spin every time I go to the skate park. So I want you guys to get comfortable with your bars. I want you guys to get the understanding and the control of how the bars move around. We're not going to get into the bar spin yet. This is the five beginner BMX tricks. We're going to do is we're going to do an X ride. This is a common trick popping up a lot in the BMX scene nowadays. I think it's an easy one to learn once you understand how it works. You'll be good. I'm going to do one X ride. I'm going to do an X ride on the floor and then I'll show you the flat bank option. Right now for the X ride. Let's do it. So the thing is with an X-Ride, they look way more complicated than they are. The X-Ride is as simple as lifting your front wheel up, leaning back with straight legs. That is the easiest bit, riding straight forward. But it's all about them straight legs there. If I want to do one on the floor, we'll get a bit more of an understanding how they work. Just to show you guys, we'll get that done right now. Straight legs. It's all about straight legs. Pull up, pull down, like the manual we talked about. That should be all right for you guys. If you run through, the routine that we're talking about. We're moving on to the next trick now. Let's get it. We're gonna do a foot plant. I think it's a great trick. Last trick, fifth trick. I wanna build your confidence on this bike. And at the end of the day, if you can learn a foot plant, you're gonna be gassed. You're gonna go show your mates. And a foot plant is big in the game in BMX. I've got people on this channel that wanna learn how to BMX. And that's why I decided to make this video. Make sure to tell your friends, tell your family, let them know that, you know, Al Bell's teaching people how to ride BMX. Go to his channel, back into the video. Let's go. Right guys, that is what you call a BMX trick. It's a beginner trick that you can make look clean in any situation. So as I was talking about, we've done the manual, we've done the bunny hop, we've done the 180, we've done the X ride. Now we're doing the foot jam. After this video, you should be on a rough understanding, go to the skate park, learn these tricks. They are basic tricks, but you can make any basic tricks look good. I've seen some of the best BMX riders do basic tricks to make them look sick. A lot of people look at their riding and they rate it. Isn't about sending X games, triple whip, backflip. It ain't about that. It's about making your tricks look clean, about having a good time, smile on your face, and just being out here with your mates riding. I mean, I know I'm on my ones now, but I'm trying to teach you guys how to ride BMX. We're gonna, again, we're gonna do another foot plant. I'm gonna show you guys the foot plant 180 just to combine some of the tricks that we've run through today this is actually probably my most in-depth bmx tutorial so let me know how i'm doing how i can be better i'm literally open to criticism if you think i could have done a few things better let me know in the comments get straight into it foot plant 180 on here i've got a little something else for you over that quarter in a second I want to let you know, one footers are probably one of the easier BMX tricks. I didn't put them in there, so I wanted to mix up the video and push you guys to try something. So obviously get comfortable, take that foot off. Understand that you're gonna fall, you're gonna learn, you're gonna move forward. Whack some shin pads on, whack a helmet on. I know I don't wear a helmet, but the first six years of my riding, I wore a helmet. I used to wear a helmet into McDonald's. I used to wear a helmet in my mate's car. My mate's mum used to be like, why don't you take that helmet off? So people don't always see that on the YouTube. I've fallen, I've hit my head, I've had a helmet on. I just feel like I'm at a level now where I can backflip and come off upside down and land on my feet. Just something I could do now. So that's why I don't wear a helmet. That's why I should wear pads. That's one thing that I should wear because that'd help me loads. So make sure you pad up, make sure your helmet up, chuck them feet off, get comfortable. We're gonna run through another video like this. Be sure of it. Just let it be known if you learned something from this video, like it, comment, do what you need to do. I'll be responding to every comment in the comments as I always do.